Christine, aka Vermeer Girl. In this video, I'm going to be putting away Christmas decorations. You might think I'm a little bit behind on this, but I am Catholic, and actually Christmas is just ending for me today. It's January 10th, it's the baptism of our Lord, and that marks the end of the Christmas season for us. So, let's get going, and we're gonna be decluttering a little bit of Christmas along the way, and figuring out some more functional ways to get it all stored away for next year. It is Saturday morning, January 9th. We are going to try to put away holiday things today. See how it goes. Maybe during nap time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Daddy's at Costco. Getting you more food. And diapers. And wipes. Oh my. I bought two storage totes from Target this year. 66 quart. They were only $8 each during their storage sale. So I think um, that should be sufficient in getting some of the rest of everything. Um, the lighting over here is kind of weird. Yes, yes, sweetie. Uh, the, you know, these boxes here, some of what we're phasing out to just try to get the storage more consistent. And I know that this 66 quart size will fit in our um, closet where we're already storing like the gift wrap stuff. So. Oh yes, and that is your baby gate that we got you. I'm gonna have to find some strategic place to hide that. So I picked this up from Michaels and it is ornament storage box basically. And this is really going to help because I have all of these cardboard boxes with everything stored in like tissue paper and you can never see what actually each thing is. Right, buddy? You know. He's like, no, you can't tell. You can't tell. Do you have your maracas from your auntie? Yes, the camera's on. Say hello. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this has three levels. It says it can fit 48 ornaments, but I already started on a level of one side, ended up not putting up this year, but I will definitely put up next year. I like literally missed a whole box of, a cardboard box of ornaments up in my closet. Um, so anyway, those I went ahead and doubled up because they were small enough. So I think I might be able to fit most of our ornaments this year in this. I'll show you a box we have going of things we're just donating don't need any more keeping our tree we love our tree seven and a half feet it's not a uh, pre-lit we have five strings of lights we bought at costco the first year we had it uh the tree itself is from target we culled through a lot of ornaments and then my childhood ornaments we're not going to be putting up uh maybe except for a few clear exceptions and then we'll put up my son's ornaments for sure because he's our son <laughs> So this bag was given to us by my sister a year or two ago, and we're going to use it to store all of my son's Christmas things uh, from year to year. So I'm just going to use it this year to put all of the books we acquired that are Christmas themed for him, as well as any little Christmas stuffed animals and things he has. So that's a pretty easy one. Here we have some things we're going to donate. Um, random things, wrapping paper, and then stocking. Don't need any more ornaments we're not going to use. Lantern, uh, old tree skirts, lighted reindeer, and 
some ornaments that are kind of champagne color. I'm moving more into, I mentioned in another video, more of a classic red, white, green, and also silver and gold themes for our Christmas decorations. this episode of Vermeer Girl. Please hit that like button. Let me know if you enjoyed this video where we packed up Christmas for the year. Please subscribe down below if you'd like more content of a young mom and her family and some craft DIYs as well. Those will be coming up soon. Ciao for now.